murder rate doubling, maybe even tripling in New York over the last few weekends, for a few weekends straight. Everyone's tripping over like an, uh, the Confederate flag and like all these historical issues. It's like, no, we have a problem. Like we have a problem right now. And if Black Lives Matter, you'd be talking about what's killing black people, but you're not. Kids getting killed, two boys that got murdered the other day, the little girls and all the other stuff she was talking about. Like, I just can't. Like, if Marines were dying, I'd be like, yo, even if it was Marines killing Marines, it'd be like, yo, I remember those dudes who killed us in Iraq, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right now, we got Marines killing Marines at an alarming rate. Like, that's the conversation we need to be having because it's numerically more potent. Maybe these guys just aren't good at math. Anyways, black lives always matter to me. So if there's something that's killing more of them, it deserves more attention. Argue with that. Change my mind. It's not getting that attention and it's not getting that funding because some people be like, well, how do you know those communities don't, you know, try to do things? I'm not talking about that. And that's a great point. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that you don't see white people getting in daishikis and getting on knees trying to get votes over it. You don't see that, do you? Because they don't care about us. They never cared about us. They Like, like... I'm talking about the powerful ones that are running this game. In fact, they've done so much to psychologically enslave us. I ain't even got time to break that thing open for you. But I'm just gonna say, they don't care about. They don't. They're not so touched by the problem in America. That now all of a sudden, right before the election, they really want to help. Like, is it, like if you really think that is what's going on, maybe you ain't been black as long as I have. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, no, you guys don't care. Otherwise, you'd always care. And otherwise. These women, children, men, you know, kids getting murdered in the hood would at least make the news on Instagram talking about, you know, uh, black lives matter and a black dude gets killed by a white cop. The whole entire world finds out like a, like a hundred uh, black people are dying by the droves in the hood. And it's like, you know, not not crickets. Yo, how come I don't see white people and white people, you know, you know what I mean? You know me talk about you for a minute. How come I don't see white people posting anything about black people killing each other on their feet talk about this has got to stop we need the genocide of black people to stop what how come y'all ain't posting that stuff right because then you'd be calling us out on our own stuff and you're not gonna do that right right because only we get to do stuff like that nowadays it's so ridiculous so ridiculous i just sit here and i'm like okay and then i see these stupid posts about we need to make a change oh because of the, the dude back there or because of the hundred dudes that got whacked last weekend oh the one dude because that makes you look not racist so i'm supposed to take your post seriously black lives matter i'm putting the black square on my instagram because i just want black people to know i love them wait, 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 wait. there's a hundred killed in the hood the other day well who killed them though? Black people or white people, how's that go now? Ah, uh, we can't talk about that because, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's not going to make us not look. In fact, that'll make us look racist. Oh, we let Byron talk about it because he's black. You can do that. <laughs> it's beyond ridiculous to me. So, all of this, you know, running around talking about how we matter to people. Anyways. Uh, it's, it's a result of our superficial world, in my opinion. I lose it five marines in one place, I lose 100 marines in another place, I'm going to where there's a higher quality problem. And that's where all these resources and visibility and media coverage should all be directed. Really, in my life, all of the things I've tried to do and the visions I've had and the things I've tried to execute on, you know, it's been the white folks that have been most supportive. Nine times out of ten when I run into another black person, uh, it tends to be very adversarial. You know what I'm saying? It tends to be very competitive and very da 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 But ever since I was little and growing up lower middle class, you know, once I decided to change my paradigm and try to become the best I can be, then I wouldn't be where I was without these relationships I've had with white people. Literally the most supportive. And it's funny because people act like I'm special. I'm not special. It's obvious. Look how much white people are trying to help this Black Lives Matter movement. The majority of white people, they just, they just, they're just not like, they're not freaking re racist they're not like i've seen you know i've been to over 40 some countries in the united states anyways uh when it comes to white people at large they're not the majority of them are not racist like it's a joke and to say that the police officers and all that stuff like hey you see white people like kissing black people's feet and like half the time when i talk with them they're like trying to like tell me about their you know cousin who adopted a black kid which means 
they're not racist. Yeah, they're awkward and sometimes they're cheesy and sometimes, you know what I mean? But it just, we don't know persecution like our parents. Our parents got some, got some weirdness. Uh, and our parents' parents, they had to do some weirdness. You know what I mean? They never did once before that. All out, full blown, unsafe, horrible thing were happening. You know what I'm saying? But, like, we've had it so easy. We don't how easy we had it and some black people take advantage of that and actually access like black privilege which actually is a thing which actually especially now is just sit back complain and whine about something that I don't think is really a good enough excuse to be why you are where you are in your life or even really a relevant problem anymore because me and uh, the other people the other African American people I know that think like me get everything you want in this life and I want you guys to do that too so not like have make it DMs like, yo, dog, it's a good video you made, bro. <laughs> like, dapping me up. Yo, 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 we cool. Just so you know, dog, I agree with you, man. I agree. I agree with you, dog. <laughs> and they be like on the low with it, you know what I'm saying? Just give me five on the black hand side where nobody's looking at you. Know <laughs> because we all see, and I don't even blame them. I don't blame them. Because black people will light you up. You'd be public enemy number one for taking the victim card, but, oh man, it'd be cracking me up. And all the, and the, or they'll come on the, like, all the stuff around my crazy uh, racial, race, racially charged post. Oh uh, man, nah, you know what? Normal black people, I love you and I respect you. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know there's other normal black people out there. Oh, I gotta take this one. Thanks for letting me know there's other normal black people out there that, uh, do agree and for all the people that don't agree with my mentality but still you know are able to be respectful and, and conversational and adult i respect you too so that's what's up man much love